Good morning, everyone. I am back from New Zealand now. It was a wonderful, relaxing week in New Zealand. I really loved seeing like what Auckland had to offer. We did one evening where we went around the city at night and went to a place called Tune something ton, 16 ton, which was a beer place because Kyle wanted to go. I didn't bring my camera, so I didn't get any of it on footage, but we saw like the, um, the Auckland Tower cityscape on the docks. It was stunning. Oh my God, what a beautiful city, but boy, does it rain a lot there. Um, anyway, today I am going out for a little adventure because I miss my Japanese food, you guys. When I was at the, um, when I was at the Auckland International Airport, uh, I went and got udon there, kitsume udon, oh, which is my favorite. So I had a few salmon sushi rolls and then I also had the kitsume udon, which was just like, it was everything that was my life in Japan. <laughs> so if you guys remember, if any of you are still watching from when I lived in Japan, I would always get 7-Eleven food or when I would go grocery shopping in the winter time, I would always get those little mini foods. So I would usually get gyoza or sushi rolls or I would get kitsume udon, which is the udon with the tofu pockets, sweet tofu pockets in it. And I would eat that after grocery shopping because for some reason I would always go grocery shopping hungry, which I still do. So. <laughs> Today I'm going to adventure to a Japanese mart um, that's kind of in my area-ish. I don't know, there honestly aren't any close ones where I live, but I'm going to go to a place called Fuji Mart and hope to God they have soba noodles, udon noodles. Um, I'm pretty sure they have the fish stock for making udon broth and the kitsume tofu pocket packets and all that jazz you guys because seriously i miss my japanese food so much so i feel like this whole intro to this vlog is just me talking but if anyone's wondering the lip color i have on today is the kylie jenner commando color that i recently got in my kylie jenner uh vacation edition haul video that's on my beauty channel so definitely check that out um because i did a whole first impression on everything i hauled and i hauled a lot of stuff but anyway <laughs> Let's go out exploring and get some Japanese food. All right, guys, so I'm in the pra Ran area and I'm looking for a certain place, which is Fuji Mart, and it's really close to Commercial Road. Look, so they have the takoyaki flour that Kim and I used to use to make our takoyaki in Japan. Look, they even have Korean red pepper pastes. So that's pretty good to know. Uh, they also have um, Korean buckwheat noodles. I'll get those because they're really, really yummy. Oh my god, you guys. They even have the um, pasta seasoning I used to get all the time. You can get one of these. It's a bit more expensive, but perfect just for the udon I want to make. Yay! Udon stock just like fish stock. Oh my god, you guys, this is seriously making me miss Japan so much. Ooh. Okay, I am back. I actually was out for like two hours, you guys. Oh, what an adventure. That was nice. So if I didn't, I don't think I got it quite well on camera, but I was at Fuji Mart and it's in the pra, Praran area, Praran. I always want to say that wrong, but yeah, Praran area which I think is like kind of a fancy-ish area for like, um, for the Chapel Street area, I don't know. And wow, this lighting makes me look so pale. Gosh, it's cloudy and it's chilly. And a lot of you guys, um, I don't think you realize that Australia and New Zealand are opposite seasons to like America, Canada, and most parts of Europe. But I think Philippines, it's the same, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So basically, well, it's your guys' summer for most of my viewers. It actually is winter time in Australia. So that's why I'm consistently in sweaters still. So if you guys have been watching since Japan, then it's gonna be a whole year's worth of me wearing winter clothes other than the previous vlog where I wore a bikini because it actually was a really, really warm and humid day in New Zealand. And as a Canadian, like certain cold temperatures don't get me that bad. Like. If it's 16, 17 degrees out and there's sun, then I am happy. It is like summer for me. So yeah, it was that temperature that day, which is why I didn't mind going in the pool and being in a bikini because that's like summer weather for me from what I grew up with. So yeah, 
Anyway, I have all my bags of Japanese groceries and it's been so long since I've done a, gr a Japanese grocery store haul. The last time was in Japan, so that was probably like four months ago, I feel like, or even like five months ago almost now, just because I don't think I did one within my last month of living in Japan because I was just so busy. But I'm really excited, you guys. I got so much stuff that I used to get and you guys probably saw about half of my grocery shopping haul while I was there just because I couldn't film more because my hands got heavy. But enough blabber, I am excited. I'm so excited, you guys, you don't even know. So, diving into the first buffet. Like you guys saw, I got these buckwheat noodles that make the sweet and spicy uh, Korean style cold noodles, which I love. I did a vlog in my early days of living in Japan where I actually made it, made the recipe. So I'll try to link that in the cards above for you guys to see. And if I forget, I'm sorry, but just backtrack to the beginning of my Japan vlogs and you'll be able to see it. Then because my main mission for going to this Japanese grocery store was to pick up udon ingredients, I got six packs of fresh udon noodles to add to my udon. So yeah, they're just udon noodles already cooked and sealed and ready to go. And these weren't too expensive. They were just over a dollar each per pack. So yeah, I guess in total it probably cost me around $8 for six, including all the extra cents. Then another mission of mine for going to this Japanese grocery store was to pick up soba noodles because I've been searching at Woolworths and Kohl's and all those kind of um, Australian brand grocery stores and they all carry just one type of soba noodle and it's such a rip off, you guys. Like it's seriously such a rip off. You get like three, three little bundles for what, like $4, I don't know. It's a rip off. So I got these soba noodles that I used to get in Japan. So I used to get these ones, I think they were $6 each or something like that and you get five bundles. I'm not too sure, but basically it was a better deal than the ones that I got before. And I noticed that the Australian brand soba noodles have less actual buckwheat flour in them and more all like filler ingredients. Well, the Japanese ones tend to have mostly buckwheat and then just a little bit of filler, like regular flour. So yeah. But anyway, you guys, if you're looking for healthy alternatives to eating pasta noodles, then try buckwheat soba noodles because they're a great alternative, they're high in fiber, they're easy to digest, and they just work well with your stomach, and they're good for a diet. So if you're trying to lose weight, stomach fat and stuff, cut the pasta and swap it out for soba noodles instead. I do that all the time. I love pesto soba. I don't know. <laughs> it's a great alternative. Then as you guys saw, I got this. So I wish they had the pesto one. I loved the green packet pesto one, but they didn't have it. They only had like carbonara, menteco, and then this garlic spicy oil pasta sauce. And I was obsessed with this also in Japan. I would eat it with my soba noodles all the time. So good, seriously, so good. So it's like little tiny individual packets of one serving of pasta sauce, but it's just an oil, garlic, and spicy one. And it's actually quite salty, so. Yeah, I don't know. When I saw this, I got really excited. I got Cupai mayo, and you will see why later. For my udon, I got a little dehydrated seaweed because it adds flavor to the broth, so it's kind of essential when you're making any kind of Japanese soup base. You just add one or two little leaves of this, and it will give it a bit of more of that like traditional flavor. And then as you guys saw, I got this takoyaki and okonomiyaki flour. This is the same one that Kim and I would get all the time in Japan to make takoyaki. And um, the Kewpie mayo is actually for this. So I want to make takoyaki. I don't have a takoyaki maker, so it's probably going to be a little bit hard. <laughs> but I really want to make it or okonomiyaki because it's so good and I'm, I'm excited for my life. I miss that. I miss that those days in Japan where Kim and I would just sit and have takoyaki for breakfast. <laughs> so bad. And then I also got this sesame paste. Um, just because I was hoping that they would have the soba noodle dip sauce, the sesame dip sauce, but all they had was sesame dressing for like salads and it's not the same as the actual dip sauce for soba noodles. Um, so I was gonna hope I could make my own by adding a little bit of this to some fish stock and then a little bit of soy sauce and hope that it would work out similar. Then as you guys saw, I got two of these udon pack broths. So this is kind of like the quick way of making udon. So it's just the regular soup base, but then of course you need to add like the the extra stuff to it. Like the um, seaweed and like a little bit of soy sauce and then the actual udon ingredients, like the noodles that I bought. And then I got this. So this is sichimi togarashi, which is um, a really, really, really popular spice that is everywhere in Japan. Like you go to restaurants, there's always this on the table. It's just like a 
a like chili mixture like it's like a seasoning salt kind of but with chili and it's really good in soups or on anything like literally put it on everything it's so good kim and i also had this in our apartment in japan then i got okonomiyaki uh dressing it's just kind of like a sweet worcestershire sauce and um yeah so for takoyaki you mix that with the cupine mayo and drizzle it on top and it's like the best so good <laughs> and i got this huge like no-name brand of marinated tofu pockets which are great for the udon that i was talking about the kitsume udon and then also just for eating in general like they're so freaking good so i got this huge pack of it they had like actual brand name ones but this was like better deal it was 11 dollars for who oh, many are in here i don't even know like a ton seriously so much so that's gonna be really good for the udon that i was planning to make with this then i got this big brick of tofu because i noticed the only place that has like good tofu per price point is woolworths um kohl's has really like overpriced tofu aldi has overpriced tofu the only place is woolworths and even that it's like mm. but this one was a pretty good price so it's just a big brick of tofu for like a dollar something because that was, that was a good price then i got kimchi which i love kimchi is really good for people with like stomach problems and stuff if you eat it in um controlled amount don't eat like a bunch and hope it'll cure your stomach just because it is a fermented food and fermented food is really good for your gut health so if you add a little bit of kimchi to your meals throughout the day it'll be really good for you so definitely try it out and i got it because well i love kimchi i'm obsessed with it i love it with everything all my meals but i also wanted to get it for the takoyaki flour so if anyone remembers from me and kim in japan when we would make takoyaki we would make it our own way instead of adding um what is it squid or octopus to it we added the hot dogs and then we also would add sometimes cheese but i wouldn't have the cheese and kimchi and it was like seriously so good you guys so kimchi then the last thing i got from the japanese grocery store is just some udon sauce so it's like a special type of soy sauce that you add to your udon broth just to give it that extra traditional flavor so yeah i think i'm gonna make udon a little bit later i don't know how it will go but hopefully it'll go well that's everything you got you guys i'm so happy so excited but then i also did some regular grocery shopping as well um, which I'm not going to show because it's literally just broccoli and sweet potatoes pretty much and soy milk But yeah. Otherwise everything that I got from the Japanese grocery store cost me exactly $96 which actually is pretty expensive I would be able to get all this stuff that I bought in Japan for 40 so it was really really expensive maybe like $50 or 60 max but um yeah, so it's definitely more expensive here, but it was worth it. A lot of the stuff is stuff that will last a long time, like the udon broth, the soy sauces, the all the noodles, um, mayonnaise sauces, all that good stuff will last me a long time. So I'm really happy that I went there and got that stuff. I'm really excited to eat the food. This has become a really long grocery shopping haul. So I think I'm going to end it here today, you guys. And if you guys want to kind of keep up with me aside from YouTube, then you can definitely find me on Twitch. I stream there whenever I get bored in the evening or lonely. So you can come join me there to play video games online on live stream. So definitely check it out. I'm probably going to be streaming Tales of Berster Berseria, Berster Berseria? <laughs> because it's a new game that I bought and I'm really excited to play it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, remember to thumbs up this video as it seriously helps me out a lot. Comment down below if there's anything in my grocery shopping haul that you've tried you like or you know that you love or if you have any recommendations for me as per usual and of course subscribe if you want to see more daily vlogs on my life as i travel and live in melbourne australia and all that good stuff i love you guys and i will see you next time bye coming to you tonight from the dance for the wall is floppy